Did the convergence of a couple of major items impact the real estate market in Union for September? Well, we're going to talk about that and some more things right after this. Hi, my name is Camille Haynes. I'm a local real estate agent. And as always, I'd like to thank you for taking a couple minutes out of your day to watch the real estate review for September, 2021. As always, I wanna ask you a couple of favors. If you like what you see, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel where you continue to be notified every time I drop one of these videos and make sure you start liking my videos as well. And then also check me out on my Instagram page. The information will be popping up momentarily. Well, last month, I really teased that there were the conversions of a couple of major items that really could start to impact the housing market overall in the following months to come. We're really going to deep dive into what those items are. And in addition, if it really did impact Union's housing market for September. So let's get into it. The housing market has remained strong all year in Union. But once September hit, it really just, things started to, like I said, happen that might actually ultimately have impact the housing market. Those three items are, number one, Hurricane Ida. Hurricane Ida occurred on September 1st, caused a lot of devastation into this local area. And it's interesting to see how that could have potentially impacted the real, real estate market were there as many homes that came on the market in September as typically do? Or in the future, do we see homes come, more homes coming on the market as a result of homeowners in town saying, you know what, Hurricane Ida de devastated us. I don't wanna deal with insurance claims, fixing up this property, the market is hot. Let's just, you know, cash in our chips and find something else that would work for us. Number two is the end of the eviction moratorium. I think this is gonna have a huge impact on the housing market in New Jersey. Um, I think as of August, I heard that there were approximately 60,000 claims or um, cases on file in the state of New Jersey for landlords who were looking to evict their tenants. So let me get into a couple of key items with this eviction moratorium. As of September 1st, the um, if you are a landlord and you have a tenant who has not paid on their pro um, rent on your property, if this tenant makes 80% or more than the median annual income for the county that they live in, then you can go move forward with the eviction claim. If they make under that 80%, then you really won't be able to do anything until December, I think it's December 31st. So imagine all the, these landlords who have been fighting for a year and a half, trying to you know, get some something out of their tenants and they have not been able to take any legal action as a result. Well, now they can at least start the eviction process. But the main thing is ultimately, are we starting, are we going to start seeing landlords who might own single family homes, and especially multifamily homes, haven't been able to pay monthly mortgages, you know, on time for some time as a result of the tenants not being able to pay? Well, they think, okay, well, instead of placing another tenant and I don't want to go through this headache again, now might be a good time to, you know, get some cash in on my property too, get, you know, got so much equity and then move forward with maybe another investment opportunity. The third thing that will be impacting the real estate market in this area is the end of the mortgage moratorium. The Biden administration back in August stop the extension of the mortgage moratorium for some time in the state of New Jersey. That will officially end on November 15th, 2021. So if you are a homeowner who has um, 
defer deferred their monthly mortgage payments or haven't been able to successfully pay as a result of COVID and you had protections in the past, unfortunately those protections run out come November 15th. So are we going to start seeing homeowners who have, you know, fought for, you know, a year and a half to make their regular monthly mortgage payments say, hey, you know what, market's hot, let's downsize, let's sell this property. I could still possibly walk away with a couple of dollars and get something else instead. So in a few months from now, will we start to see maybe an increase of inventory? Maybe we will, but let's focus on September in particular. And let's talk about a couple of key items or key statistics that's happened in September, 2021. Number one is that there was a significant decline of new listings entering the market in September. This number was down actually about 26% from September 2020. So it was a significant reduction of the uh, number of new homes available for sale in a calendar month. Um, September typically, you know, you still have the the remainder of the you know nice easing from the summer months summer market spring market you know starting to decline but not not nothing really significant like this drop was in union so that was an interesting number to see number two is that the month of september only had 46 homes closed in town this number is significant because it is the lowest number of closings in town since February 2021. There's no necessarily no rhyme or reason as to why this happened because there was still a significant amount of inventory on the market, you know, in the summer months, which would have ultimately been closing around September, but it still was a low number overall statistically so far this year. And number three is that the sales price still remains rock solid in town. The median sales price year to date through September 2021 is up 17.6% from the same nine month time span from last year. So if you are a homeowner who's been living in your residence for a few years, you've definitely built up some equity in your property. And the last segment I really wanna talk about, I haven't touched on it in a couple of months, is the townhome segment. Townhome and condos in Union have been really performing well within this past year. Year to date, condo and townhome sales have increased 66% from the same nine month time span from one year ago. So there's been a lot of movement and activity in the townhome and condo segment of town. So if you are a resident of Union, would love to hear your thoughts as well, what you think is gonna happen within the housing market within the next few months. Or if you are a homeowner and you're thinking about taking advantage of this hot housing market and would like to speak to a realtor, please feel free to reach out to me. My contact information is at the end of this video. As always, I wanna thank you for taking a couple minutes out of your day to watch my video. Hope you take care, have a great month. And I guess I'll be speaking to you after the Thanksgiving holiday. So if I don't see you beforehand, have a great Thanksgiving, okay? Take care.